So what is the bulk article creation tool? It's pretty simple. You enter your keywords, you can obviously do lots. I'd suggest getting a huge chunk from somewhere like Google AdWords, finding what you want to rank for, and then you just paste it in. Here's my big list. You'll notice that I've deliberately, for the sake of demo, included three copies of the same thing. So I can click remove duplicates and that's gone. I'm now down to eight different things. I can remove previously used. I'm pretty sure I've done driveway painting before. There we go, so that's gone. And now I've got my organized list of keywords. These have never been posted to the blog before or they've never been posted by me before. I'd then select my blog. I've got all the usual advanced settings that I'm used to. So if I want to do it in Spanish, for example, I could do that. I could choose royalty free or AI images. If I wanted to create a Google document, I could. I wouldn't recommend that with the bulk editor because you'll get, you'll get loads of things coming in. And then all of your standard things that you want. So to touch on those, um, authority outbound link, you, you want that because just like when you go to university and you have to write your final study and you have to include sources to prove that you didn't make up the information. That's the same thing here. You're proving to Google that you didn't make up what's on your screen or what you're putting on your website and that it is correct and well researched. Add a power word that improves the chances that people will click through. If you've got the mega ultimate uh, driveway painting guide, it's much more exciting than a driveway painting guide. So that encourages people to click you. Uh, FAQ section that adds a rich JSON schema thing that will be picked up by Google with a bit of luck, which will ultimately get you the snippet. And if you don't know what the snippet is, uh, mountain paint and driveway. The snippet is things. Let's zoom in. The snippet is things like this. So that, that throws you to the top of the results, and there you're there. Or you might get in the people also asked, and you might end up here. All of these things are great because they, they just throw you up the results pages. So all things that we want to do. Uh, internal links, obviously, you know why they're important. Link to your own content, prove that your own content's amazing. You definitely want that. Uh, adding and creating missing tags. So let's say I've not got a tag on my WordPress blog for red paint. My article that's created might be about red paint. And obviously it's very important that I tag it because then those two articles get linked. Google sees it as like a content hub for red paint and I slowly rank up higher and higher for red paint. Categories, same as tags really. They, they silo your website into different sections, but ultimately they're just links that show your, your uh, topical authority really. And the AI detection defeat, that is just if you're concerned about having AI content, that will make it less detectable by any AI detectors. It's not actually needed because Google has said they're happy for AI content to exist. However, it, it's a feature that we provide. It's our own custom model. No one else owns that, so it's very much more difficult to detect. That's just something we offer. And then to create the articles, I would just click generate my content and it would just work in the same way as normal. Ultimately, with a bit of luck, you'd select your blog and it'd post your blog and then you just walk away. Done. Anyway, have a great rest of your day and I'll catch up with you soon.